First, you have to be able to speak to the pain that's there if you're the one that's in pain and share that with your partner. Yeah. The partner has to be able to take in that they hurt you in that way. Then there has to be kind of a felt sense of, oh, wow, that's the pain I caused, and I am sorry that I caused you that pain. That's, a, that's way bigger than an I'm sorry. Connecting, Connecting couples with the real Emhoffs. Hi, I'm Chad Emhoff. And I'm Angela Emhoff. We're the Real Emhoffs, and we're talking about how to do repair, specifically um, how in relationship we get connected. We stay connected when, when our bond is in distress or when we, we hurt each other. We have an offense. Yeah. We have something that, that causes uh, pain. If, if I do something that hurts you or she does something that hurts me, um, then, then we, have to, we have to find ways to repair that. And so we've talked a little bit about what an injury is. That was the first episode. The second one, we talk about sort of the elements of a repair, this idea that we have to be able to kind of like understand what the injury was. It's not just about the dish. Yeah. It's about what it said to me or what I felt around that thing, um, kind of the message I received. And then I give it to you and then you respond to that. If we don't do that, that doesn't work so well. This is episode three where we're really going to break down why saying I'm sorry doesn't always work. Right. Well, to it, just say, it's not enough, oh, sorry. right? Which is kind of in that statement yeah. I just said. The good way is this other thing, but to just say I'm sorry, it misses so much. Yeah. It misses so much. If there I apologize is a way that dish. sorry can yeah. be worked into it, and we're going to kind of give you the elements of that. But the reality is so many times in a relationship, people think saying I'm sorry is enough. And it really doesn't get into the deeper feelings or the deeper hurt that's there. And so just like we talked about in episode one and two of this series, recognizing first you have to be able to speak to the pain that's there if you're the one that's in pain and share that with your partner. Yeah. The partner has to be able to take in that they hurt you in that way. Then there has to be kind of a felt sense of, oh, wow, that's the pain I caused. And I am sorry that I caused you that pain. That's, a, that's way bigger than an I'm sorry. Well, and if you think about it, it's it's Tuesday morning and the dish is on the counter and we're going to try to have this depth of conversation and we've never really done it on a Tuesday morning right. when I'm running out the door. It's really hard to do right. this. This is repair and, and bonds aren't easy in moments of distress. And so I'm there smiling are steps. because leaving the dish on the counter has now worked its way into the third episode of this series. <laughs> That's the, the fight we're choosing. You can't go wrong if you talk about the dishes with well, any uh, couple at all. Well, well, like I said, my plate really is sitting over there on the counter. Uh, <laughs> we're coming at yeah. you this time from our own home and our own dining room yep. here in our farmhouse and uh, really discussing how something like leaving a dish on the counter, that's the topic that we brought up, the content we brought up really says something different on a different day. Some days Chad can leave his dish on the counter and it means nothing to me and I just put it in the dishwasher and yeah. go about my business. Other days, who knows if I'm already feeling like maybe I'm a bad mom or if I'm a bad housekeeper or if I'm overwhelmed or something else and I do clean the kitchen, get the whole thing loaded and the dishwasher is waiting for the one dish and he puts it in the on the counter instead of in the dishwasher. Then all of a sudden I am frustrated. I think it, it doesn't. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't see the work I'm doing. My effort doesn't matter. All these other things and now we're in a fight. And so we've yep. really been, whether it's in our first series, The Basics, the second series was staying tuned in, or now this one talking about the anatomy of, of a repair and really doing a good repair. It, it really is about being able to come back and say, this thing that just happened hurt me in this way. And I'm right. going to bring that to you. And if I have a secure relationship, then I have trust that Chad is going to be able to go, oh, wow, thanks for bringing your pain forward. I'm going to respond to it. And I want to just take a quick second to say that's a hard move if you're new to this. It's really hard. I mean, that it's extremely, extremely hard. We don't get taught this very often mm -mm. in society, right? Everybody wants to make it about the thing that they did, right? This person did that thing and that is offensive and they should be punished for it. Yeah. Um, and, and it's a very, uh, I, I don't know. I, I want to say like a uh, small view of it. It's, it's yeah. not, it's not going to get you what you need. And in fact, those kind of, um, uh, obligatory, I'm sorry's don't work. No. I mean, they just don't like if, if the dish is there and she's got these big messages inside her and I say, eh, sorry, how does that land? That oh. doesn't do anything. That that actually infuriates fuels, you. Yeah, it yeah. It fuels the message. I can see it. Your eyes <laughs> are like, oh, I could I can feel the energy. The uh, negative message. Yeah. And and so what 
what we really want to do is help you guys unpack what a repair looks like. And, and that way, when you do say, I'm sorry, it's impactful enough that it actually does create a repair and not a bigger riff. So let's kind of talk about sometimes what a what an I'm sorry does. I want to use an example of somebody I was working with who said she and her husband got in, in a, a little riff. Yeah. They got sideways. And she said um, he kind of raised his voice at her and, and, and made some comment. And she was just asking him a simple thing. She, yeah. she said like, Hey, do you want something to drink? And he was like, I can get my own. Like it just was a, it turned into something where she thought that hurt my feelings. And, and she got really quiet and they were on a road trip. Don't you love it when you get sideways on a road trip or in a small space where you're going to be there for a long time. And then it's just awkward silence. Those are like the worst, but yeah. she was sitting in the passenger, sh- passenger seat quiet and you could feel the tension. She said, and then he said, I'm sorry. And she said, while I do believe that he was sorry, that whatever that interaction thinking, did. You are sorry, mister. <laughs> no, <laughs> she said, I know that he was sorry that something just happened. Yeah. Neither one of us really even understood what just happened. Yeah. And she said, and, and in my body, she said, I just was still really like my guard was still up. Because there was this thought that I had, and this is like the key to it, that was like, if he doesn't know what he's apologizing for, then I have no assurance that he's not going to do that thing again. Yeah. And so this is where it becomes really important to go, okay. And the work that I did with her was like, what specifically hurt you? Let's talk about the meaning that your body assigned to that pain so that you could say that to him so that he could go, okay, now I realize while I am sorry that it's awkward right now or tense. Yeah. The reality is now that I understand the pain, that's what I'm sorry for. That's the key that's different in than just a blanket. I'm sorry that we got sideways. And, And sorry is not enough. In that instance, like just the, I'm sorry in the car. I'm imagining that right now, just kind of like being in that car, imagining, you know, one or the other of us, it could be either way. Right. But like we somehow offend each other and we're sitting there not talking. Uh, Maybe you or I have said, Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I did that. You know, yeah. we don't even know what that is. Sometimes. Every single couple that is listening to this had yeah. some sort of riff but, in the car. <laughs> but just that anxious, nasty Ooh. yuck that, that, that you Tension. feel. Yeah. That it's kind of like, oh my gosh. And and how do you not, I do this. I, I think everybody does it maybe, but, but how do you not go to, oh my gosh, this is the end of how we've done this. This is the end, even in a small thing, even when it's not a, a huge offense, it's like, it just feels so nasty. Yeah. Like. Like, oh my goodness, something's really, she's really crazy or I'm really crazy or I'm bad or she's bad. I mean, whatever. Now our trip is ruined or whatever it is. We're that, not going to get outing. out of this. What yeah. I hope for tonight isn't going to come, you know, like as far as like having a good time or enjoying each other or whatever the thing might be. Yeah. So now it's like, oh my gosh, this, this little <laughs> moment, this little thing uh, where I, I, and again, maybe it's a placating apology or maybe it's a you know, uh, an, an explaining apology. I did, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to this, that, and the other yeah. thing, which is basically invalidating yeah. your pain. Um, but, but that's why sorry just does it. Sorry for the wrong thing does not work. Yeah. Sorry for the dish does not, sorry for this. The or sorry. And then work. blaming the partner. I look, yeah. I'm sorry, but you're sure sensitive today or yeah. something like that. Where it's like <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, your yeah. fault that you're wounded, <laughs> you know, get stronger in that area and, or give me the benefit of the doubt. That's not a sincere <laughs> apology either. So, so there are a lot of I'm ways. I'm sorry, but you really aren't trying hard today, are you? <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of times when, man, I'm sorry, just does nothing. As a matter I know, of fact, it really I know. makes it worse. And you know what is funny? We do this to kids. Yeah. Right. You go tell him you're sorry. And they're like, um, Our, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry. Uh, they they don't even doing, know what they did. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing it because my yeah. mom and dad are making me, yeah. you know, this is a conversation we're having with our four year old. She has a really hard time saying sorry when she didn't know or mean to do the hurting. Like she, yeah. she bumped into to somebody and accidentally knocked that person over. And I, I think said, we all have a hard time with that, by we the way, do, but go ahead, yeah. go ahead. But I said, you need to apologize. And she said, well, I didn't mean to. And I said, it doesn't matter if you meant to or not, you can recognize that the, you did a thing that hurt that other person. And that's what you're apologizing for the pain that you caused, whether you meant to or not. And that, yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about here is it, sometimes we believe that if we say, I'm sorry, we're taking ownership like, well, I must have done something malicious or I'm a bad person because I did a bad thing that I now have to apologize for. 
No. What we're really saying is, hey, something I did affected you in a way that hurt you, and I care about you. That's the last thing I wanted to do. I'm really sorry that that happened. Like, that is different. That is a way where you can work and I'm sorry in. Chad, when we were kind of working through this, said, I'm sorry works if there's ownership. Yeah. You know, we talked about in the basic series, the very last episode, episode seven, was talking about kind of how to do a, a deeper conversation around this. If you get into um, a, a conflict or if you get into a riff, that you could own your part. So a, a pursuer would say, I'm sorry I criticized you, or I'm sorry that I, I just lean towards controlling that or try to manage the outcome. Or a I'm withdrawer s- might say, I'm sorry that I, I shut down or I'm sorry I couldn't hear you out or I'm sorry I disengaged in this way or I'm sorry that I, I got angry to stop the conversation. Sometimes withdrawers do that. So like, to, to yeah. say I'm sorry attached to the ownership of the part you played, that works. Yeah. That, yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. is a, a, a ne- next level apology, well, and which is really good. That's it, it's the second, for. it's like the, if we had like rungs of it, like it's probably like, it's, it's definitely way better than a obligatory or a placating sorry right like yeah. like the kid who's forced sorry to go the tell, night's ruined sorry i'm sorry i punched you or whatever like little <laughs> kid you know like, i'm sorry you're a sissy or what yeah. <laughs> like but but like that's way better than that it's Chad. way better i don't know little kids yeah. back when i was a kid we, we were allowed to fight more i guess but <laughs> uh, okay. i'm this, getting old now i'm culture. getting old but 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 whenever um you come to somebody and you say so so here's the difference you know, I'm, I'm sorry that, that, that I left the dish there, right? Like that, that's kind of a little bit better. Like, I'm, and it's not as nasty as like, sorry, I punched you or something, but like, I'm sorry I left the dish there. That's kind of, mm. eh, it's okay. Right. But, but you know what? I'm sorry. I realized that you do a lot of work and, and I left the dish there and I just, I messed up. I wasn't thinking that feels I'm a little bit better. I'm sorry that me leaving the dish there spoke to a deeper meaning. Yeah. The last thing well, I want well, you to feel is undervalued. Well, and that's even better, yeah. right? That's the third level of yeah, that. Like yeah. it's like, I'm now speaking into what I know of you, but, but I think if you just take ownership, that helps. Yeah. Like, even if we can just say, you know what? I did do that and that was wrong. Yeah. I'm not, re- and even if I don't fully understand what it did to you, yeah. I can at least say, you know what? I did leave the dish there. We have talked about this. I know that you work hard and, and you're busy too. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't rely on that or I shouldn't put that on you to take care of that. I think it's, that an, feels better than it absolutely oh, sorry, does. Yeah. Right? I think it's an interesting thing that we as humans have this tendency to believe that we want to be good. If I love someone, it's not my intention to hurt them. So therefore I never really should have to apologize for hurt that's caused because I never meant to hurt you. Yeah. How you have responded to some of the things I do, well, that's about you and you need to go work on yourself. Yeah. Like that's a lot of times <laughs> what people think. And that and that really, I believe, is a is a paradigm shift for what we're talking about here, which is not how we were raised, not the culture we live in, yeah. but, but the reality to say everything that I do when I'm now in a committed, loving relationship actually does affect the person that's closest to me. All the things that I do, uh, we're in this together now. Choices I make have a direct impact on my partner, my family, my children. And I have to be able to acknowledge that knowing that sometimes it'll land on them in a different way than I intended it. Can I acknowledge my part in that? And that is a really hard thing to do. Even if I'm trying, and you know, as pursuers, we like to get it right. And we like to be efficient and it's really hard for us to own that we're doing something that could hurt someone. But the reality is sometimes we do. And to be able to see that and come around to it and say, hey, I can acknowledge the impact that my behavior has on you. Now I can say I'm sorry and it means something where before, well, I'm sorry you got hurt. Wow. That doesn't have an impact at all. Sometimes I I think, I think it's a, it's a, I want to, I want to kind of reset, um, just a little bit to those levels because like I actually, you're saying there's actually a fourth level to that too. Um, as we kind of talk through it. So a, a placating apology doesn't work yeah. like, ah, oh, sorry. Um, a, a better way to do that is to say, I'm sorry, I left the dish there and I realized that that is something we've talked about. I, I'm going to do better with that. Yeah. That's better than just yeah. a placating apology, but then an even better apology than that, like maybe the next level would be, and, and I think they all build. It's this sense of like, okay, I'm sorry I left the dish there. I realize that that is something that speaks to you and your worth and it clearly hurt you. So I, I want to respond to that, right? So, but then the fourth level of that That's is, incredible. the fourth level of that is you can take it in. Yeah. Like it, it's the offended person has to be able to, 
um, receive the apology yeah. and, and kind of like get a felt sense that yeah. like he gets it. Yeah. He gets it. He didn't mean it. Maybe, maybe he didn't mean it. Maybe he did, or maybe he just wasn't thinking. He gets it. He gets how I feel. He's given that to me. I can take that in and I can go, I believe that. My I believe that he would not have done that. Took if, a deep breath because even you saying yeah. that goes, man, that feels so much better. Right. And, and, and so the, you're talking about like kind of four levels of this. Yeah. The first is that placating, which sucks in my opinion. Yeah. Apologies for saying sucks. Uh, but, but the second level is I can kind of own what I did, yep. you know, which is what I think pop culture kind of says, own your stuff, man. Take right? responsibility. And so like, I own it. I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I did. I did Being do that forced thing. To apologize. And you know what? I did it and I was wrong and I apologize, yep. which is, is better. Um, then the third level is I can really see the pain that was caused to you. And, and probably I have to get that from yeah. you. I can't just come up with that. And then the fourth level is you can take that apology in. Yeah. But that, that's really why just a sorry does not work. A thought I just had as a pursuer that I think this all the time. Yeah. Are you sorry you got caught? Are you, if yeah. I didn't bring up my pain, would you be sorry for the behavior? Can you acknowledge that your behavior is the problem or something like that? There's some sort of deeper thing there that, that's why the sorry doesn't work. There's something I want to bring up too that you, uh, as we were planning for this, talked through. And that yeah. is if there is a deeper message that has been reinforced over and over and over again, Yep. You can't just apologize one time because that is a kind of a deep seated wound that needs to have multiple, multiple repairs. And so I want to talk about a, a quick, um, thing that happened with Chad and I, we got into a fight and I did something where, um, long story short, I got rid of something that was valuable to him that I thought was just minor. That's a major offense by the way, but I thought it was yeah. just minor. And there was a situation where a friend of his knew I got rid of it. And I was like, don't tell Chad, you know, like he's going to be mad. And I kind of knew he would, and it was wrong. And so we were having this conversation. He was frustrated with me that I had gotten rid of the thing. And, and he used the word I felt betrayed. And and so I was like, oh my gosh, you got, you, you felt betrayed. Well, I didn't realize until we unpacked the depth of the pain that he actually was more frustrated that I told his friend, don't tell Chad, that that was like a betrayal move there, that I was aligning yeah. his friend against him. And once I recognized that, not only did I apologize in the moment, but I came back multiple times. Even now I'm talking about it and I'm like, oh man, I'm really sorry that I did that. Like when I recognized the depth of the pain, that it wasn't about the content, it wasn't about the thing I got rid of, it was really about this aligning move that really hurt him then I'm able to see that I did a thing and that was a, that was a deep wound for him. The word betrayal is a hard word. If yeah. that's used in your relationship, man, circle back to that multiple times. And I did and I have. Like every now and then it'll come up and I'll be like, man, I'm really sorry that I did that. I did not mean to do that to you. And as, as much as I possibly can, I will not betray you in that way again. That's the thing even that my friend, when she was sharing the situation, yeah. said. She said, my body was still on guard because he said, I'm sorry, but I had no assurance that he wasn't going to do the same thing again. Yeah. And that's what our body holds on to to protect us. In order for me to really make a sincere apology to Chad, Chad has to know she recognizes what she did, and therefore there is a better chance that that she won't do it like that or hurt me like that again. Doesn't yeah. mean I won't accidentally or something will come up, but... It's a, it's a downloads in your body in a different way. So we've got these three points that we're kind of talking yeah. about at the end there. And that's kind of where you're at um, as we wrap up a little bit. But I just want to say if this, the reason this gets really hard and the reason it, it's really hard for that last step, for the apology to really work, yeah. that fourth level, it's hard for you to take that in because yeah. maybe you've been wounded, not just in this relationship, but other relationships. Yes. Maybe this is a long held belief about yourself that your parents reinforced or that other people in your life have reinforced Inter experiences and interactions, other reinforced. attachment injuries with other people. And, and so maybe you get the message that you're too much or that you're a failure or that you suck in this way or that way. or that. Yeah. And so it's like, then it's really hard to even receive the apology because, and it will take multiple, 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 multiple attempts Right. I know I said that four times, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it takes lots of effort yeah. and, and we're trying to heal something in each other. That's not, um, easily healed. It's yeah. a, it's a very difficult place to, to change. And so if you've got something that's been with you for a long time or been in this relationship for a long, you've been married for a long time, you've been doing this thing this way for a long time, it is going to cause, yeah. and it's going to, it is cause for a lot of repairs. So sometimes you'll hear people say, I've said, I'm sorry for that. Right. And, and it doesn't really matter if you've said you're sorry for that. It matters whether or not the offended. So Angela with the dish, it matters that she can take in my 
sense that I have hurt for her in that spot, that I understand it and I hurt for her and she gets it and she may need to get it a hundred times. But, and again, we're talking about a dish, so maybe that's not the right depth for this, for this topic. But, but we are saying, can she understand that I get it, that I feel her pain and I won't do it again because I feel the pain it causes because it hurts me to see her hurt. If I can do that, that changes what we're doing. I want to jump in really quick to the connect point because we have to wrap yep. up here. But the idea there that even as Chad is saying that multiple, multiple, multiple times, you might have to come back and really yeah. acknowledge the pain. And when he's saying that, there's this part of me that goes, oh my gosh, that's so much work. Or, oh my gosh, that's exhausting. But here's the thing that we're asking you to commit to is that your relationship is worth it. Your relationship is worth the investment of doing the hard work to really have a secure bond, to really know that your partner is on your team or you're on your partner's team and you're not meaning to hurt each other and you care about the other person. I mean, this is an opportunity we have to let your partner know your pain matters to me. I want to know about it and I want to respond to it. And so the connect point for this week as we wrap up is work on the I'm sorry. If you find yourself this week or next week or whenever saying, I'm sorry, pause, pump the brakes, hit a timeout, throw a flag on the play and say, wait a minute. We, Angela and Chad talked about this. Is I'm sorry enough for this? Does my partner get that I'm sorry? Or what am I sorry for? Is the pain brought forward? So we really want you to just, if you hear your partner say, I'm sorry, did, did you bring the pain forward so they know what they're sorry for? Or if you're the one saying, I'm sorry, yeah. ask yourself it, if you're really unpacking it the way we have talked about it. And so, and I would love for you guys to sit down in that, in that and be intentional. Let's go get something. Let's say there are things that we all do and say, can we sit down and talk about what is the pain that it causes me and how, how would you respond to that pain? Not necessarily the dish. How do I respond to the pain? Yeah. And that, that's kind of what you're talking so about. That so that wraps up yeah. episode three. When I'm sorry, isn't good enough. You can go a little bit deeper. Come back to us next week when we talk about whose responsibility is it to fix the fight? Oh, that's a good one. We'll see you next week. Great.